President Hoover might have been famous for his promise of a chicken in every pot if elected. But the 31st president of the U.S. might become famous in China for an entirely different reason. Hoover had also worked in China, spoke Mandarin Chinese with his wife, and had worked in a Chinese mine after he had graduated from Stanford. According to a Weibo post with a picture attachment, the young geologist that will later become the president of the United States has signed a stock certificate from the Qing Dynasty, which is now currently on display at the Shengyang Finance Museum. The stock certificate shows that a long relationship between China and the U.S. that stretches back for more than 100 years. And besides having worked in a Chinese mine, Hoover also lived in the Chinese port of Tianjin with his wife, fought during the Chinese Boxer Rebellion, and sought to improve the lives of Chinese workers by ending the practice of imposed long-term servitude contracts. Now, for many Chinese Weibo users, this was the first time they've even heard of President Hoover, and many were amazed by his adventures in China. And now let's take a look at some of their comments. You mean over a hundred years ago, an American president came to China to be an immigrant worker? Is this the epitome of the Chinese dream? An American president was a coal miner. The world is so amazing. He might have worked in the Chinese mines, but when he returned to America with money in hand, he was able to get his career started and became an American president. What an encouraging story. So China actually cultivated an American president. That's awesome. He will forever be known as the most successful coal miner ever. This is an encouraging story to tell young people of what they can achieve if they really put effort into their dreams. While Richard Nixon is often credited as being the first American president to have visited China, there have been other American presidents, either before or after leaving office, which had visited China long before Nixon. Besides President Hoover, who was in China in 1899, former President Ulysses S. Grant also made a trip to China during his world tour. The former president stayed in China in the 1870s and met with some very important historical figures in China, such as Viceroy Li Hongzhang in Tianjin, as well as Prince Kang, the imperial regent in modern-day Beijing.